One of the application focuses of our research is domestic robotics. For this purpose, we have developed what we, what we call the PACE Home. Uh, it is a prototypical domestic environment in which sensory and robotic components are integrated and provide services for human assistance. We set up sequences of behaviors that we want now to engage in, and they're programmed and sent over the wireless to a computer that now has inside of him. We recently acquired two NOW robots for research and development purposes. And one of the first uses we made of these NOW robots was in the context of our international master's program for robotics and intelligent systems. Uh, specifically, we use the NOWs in the context of a second year uh, two-term course called the Integrated Project Work. This course is aimed at providing the students with the opportunity to integrate state-of-the-art um, artificial intelligence, sensory and robotics technologies into one functioning uh, demonstrator. Baby, baby, you know it's true I'm a puppet just for you I'd do any little thing you say I wouldn't have it any other way If we could program a robot to behave ethically, there is a lot of potential for teaching humans how to behave better. The way the machines are going, becoming more autonomous, doing more actions on their own, interacting with the human beings, would you like to have something that didn't have ethics telling you what to do or helping you out around the house? I don't think so. My work in robotics is mostly related to learning and the acquisition of complex skills in robots and we look in particular at cognitive models, how to represent these skills as software on board the robot. Then you press the touch sensor in the back, then the robot takes a background image. When you press the other one in the front, then the robot assumes taking a foreground image and the assumption is there is a person standing in front of the robot uh, taking some body postures and the robot will then try to understand the posture and to mimic the very same posture. The University of Notre Dame is working to break down the communication barriers associated with this complex disorder through the innovative use of robots in clinical therapy. The way that we interact with each other is, is very involved. We have gestures and facial expressions and, and, and body movements and tone of voice, all of these things all at once. That can be really intimidating for a child with autism. What you do? Our hope is that these robots will help simplify social interactions so that children with autism can pick up on these social cues, emotional cues, that we just understand naturally. I like her. You like her? Good. I'm glad. <laughs>